Hi guys, this is Dave in real life and welcome to this uh, pro, pro wrestling football club video. Yeah, uh, it's a bit of a shocker. I uh, decided that we'd mix it up with uh, pro wrestling and football. When I say football, I do mean the English Premier League or soccer as you guys in the US call it. Don't call it that here. But yeah, I just... I had a look online to see what football clubs, uh, pro wrestlers are, are supporting out there. And uh, yeah, I decided to make a football team of my own with that uh, information. So without further ado, and uh, all good football clubs need a manager and an assistant manager. And that is going to be Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Shawn... Shawn Michaels, not quite a fan, I think, of this club, but I'm throwing it in there anyway. But Triple H has been more than vocal about being a West Ham United fan. There is several pictures of him holding a West Ham shirt online. So, yeah, Triple H, West Ham fan. We've got Shawn Michaels as a Blackburn Rovers fan do believe that he was honoured this on an episode of Soccer AM, which is a TV show here in the UK, which airs every Saturday morning. Uh, they tend to have wrestlers on from time to time and they give them a football club, uh, an honorary football club, if you will. He drew Blackburn Rovers, so there you go. That's how some of these are exactly the same. So if you're wondering why certain wrestlers are supporting certain clubs, this is, that's the reason. We are going to go straight into the lineup now because obviously these guys need players to manage. So, it, as the keeper, I have thought about this. I could have gone with Cesaro, but I don't know. There's something more intimidating by this choice, and that is Miro. Miro from AEW is a massive Real, Royal Madrid fan. So, you know, what a presence in goal is absolutely huge. You can have a hard press, hard press to get the ball past him. So Miro is my goalkeeper. The defenders, I've gone for Seamus. Seamus, well documented again as a Liverpool supporter. Uh, you will not find a post where he's not wearing a Liverpool shirt. So yeah, he's definitely the first defender. And then I've got Drew McIntyre. Uh, a Glasgow Rangers fan, so uh, he. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm going for really big guys at the back. So yeah, you're going to be hard pressed to try and beat these A in the air or rear tackle because these guys are brutal. Then the third defender is Wade Barrett. Surprisingly enough, uh, obviously he says that he hails from like the Manchester area. He supports Preston North End. I realise that a lot of you won't know what Preston North End is or where that is, uh, which is fair enough. It is uh, a championship team or could even be lower than that. I haven't checked. But yeah, they are at a team here in the UK outside of the Premier League. Saying that, I have chosen Cesaro as a defender and he supports a local team from his own country, which is Switzerland, and that is FC Loren. Lorenz. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah, they're a Swiss uh, Premier League team. I, I don't know what they call the Swiss League, to be honest. But yeah, uh, Cesaro supports that football club. Uh, midfield is now pretty much the same. Probably this team is stacked with really big, beefy guys. Uh, and we've got Killian Dane, who is an adamant Man United supporter. Yeah, so we do get a first mention of Man United in those list. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Killian Dane. Unfortunately, he's not with any promotion at, at this moment in time after being released by WWE. But hopefully some promotion will pick him up in the future after his uh, contract clause is uh, finally up. We also go to uh, Austin 316's very good pal and own Stone Cold Steve Austin, who for some reason is a Bolton Wanderers fan. <laughs> yeah, this goes back to uh, the Soccer AM uh, 
uh, making him an honorary. <coughs> Other member is Mick Foley, the Arcor legend. Yet again, from Soccer AM, honorary Sheffield United fan. Yeah, sink that in. He's a blade, for sure. An Arcor legend, what blades for a living, is now supporting the blades. So that is quite unique. <laughs> Then we go to, and I don't know how this works. Maybe it's because he's just good pals with Triple H. I do not know. But Dave Batista, who is obviously an actor now, he's doing movies rather than wrestling. But he is a West Ham United fan. Yes. I don't know if that's just because Triple H is, or what, you know, a bit closer to buddies there, I think. Up front. Uh, is Rey Mysterio, who is a Real Madrid fan. Yes, we've got two Real Madrid fans in this lineup, which is quite impressive. Then we have Finn Balor. You'd think he'd support a, a, lot, a team from his uh, native land, Ireland, but nope, he is a Tottenham Hotspur supporter. And adores, you've got this guy supporting your team as well, so that's pretty good. Also, you've seen him on the thumbnail as well with the Tottenham Oxford shirt, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, so that is my starting 11 and my manager and assistant. I could have used some others. There is a picture online of uh, WWE supporting the title race. Thing is, I don't actually 100% agree think that any of them actually support the clubs that they're wearing the shirts of. I mean, there's Matt Riddle in an Arsenal shirt. I don't think Matt Riddle's an Arsenal fan, if I'm being all honest. You've got Big E in a Southampton shirt. Yeah, I just think that's just a promotional photograph. I don't really think that that's a truth thing. Uh, there is Fandango, I believe he's an Evertonian. Uh, there's just various others, but a lot of it's just for promotion. These are the ones that have been strongly linked to these clubs. So I'm going to stick with the list what I've got. Uh, right, just as a bit of fun in the comment section below, if you want to take part, that is, uh, put your starting 11. What team would you put? You don't. Need, they don't need to be football fans. You don't need to link them to football clubs like I've done. You can just say, right, oh, I want Ricochet as a goalkeeper because look at all the flips he can do. It's up to you if you want to have a go at that. If not, don't bother. <laughs> but yeah, this is a quicker video, video than normal. But, you know, can't always make these long-winded videos. We are back tomorrow. I think I am doing the Extreme Rules Prediction video for Tuesday night. Uh, then we've got live streams this week of West Ham United, Man United in the League Cup with the uh, Cup draw afterwards. And then we've got Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. So watch along as well on Thursday. So that is the lineup for the week if you are watching this on Monday when it first comes out. If not, you probably miss one of them streams or videos. So just go back onto the channel and catch it when you can. Have your say in the comment section below. I've been Dave in real life. You've been awesome. And remember to always keep it real. Until the next time. Bye for now. And yeah, the crazy door in the background. What's going on? <laughs> if you saw him in my live stream, you'll understand. <laughs> Bye for now.